and it smells rich like I smell like I got money <laughs> Hey, it's Janae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey. So y'all, today is um, Wednesday, Wednesday the 12th. I just got off of a work call. Um, I've been on the phone for a while, but it was a necessary call. Um, one of those that we used to kind of plan out the year, go over like stuff. Um, yeah, so now I'm about to finally go get my nails done. Y'all, I have a story to tell you about so you know in my last vlog I was at the nail salon in the parking lot and my nail tech canceled on me right and she told me that we were going to reschedule so I was like okay cool that was Sunday yesterday which was Tuesday she put up a post saying that she had moved to a new state and was taking new clients <laughs> cannot make this up um, we talked she refunded me for my deposit and everything and so now I'm going to go to a salon that my lash tech recommended so I can get my nails done. So I can go about my week, create content, do all the things I need to do. Um, I was gonna try like press-ons. I thought about it for a very quick second, but I actually don't like press-ons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my nails done. It's Wednesday, it's like 4.44, so it shouldn't be like too hard to like get in and get out real quick. The salon closes at seven, so I'm gonna wrap up here in a second so I can head over do what I need to do um, I'll worry about my toes another day there they haven't really been out and they don't look bad to be honest with you at all like I keep the new color on they still look fine so I will handle my toes a different day um but I just want to make sure I get my nails done because my hands and stuff are out and y'all know nails are like my one non-negotiable mm, no nah. they are my number one I have two like series non-negotiables when it comes to like my beauty maintenance and everything so Number one priority is nails, and it's so crazy because I, I know I get it from my mama because I was on FaceTime with her Saturday after I soaked them off, and we um, were on FaceTime when I was in Target, and I had my hand kind of in the camera, and she was just like, what's going on with your nails? <laughs> and I was just like, I know, okay, I know, but I'm going to go ahead and handle it now. So um, before we do that, though, I want to unbox this jacket I just got from Aritzia. So in my collective haul that I had, posted I had told you guys that I got like the black puffer super cute but I ordered a small and I should have ordered an extra small um and I waited to the last minute to proceed with the exchange or the return or whatever so by the time I went back to get the correct size the black one is completely sold out now until September y'all it's January I wouldn't get that jacket until September the eighth so yeah so here is the packaging Georgia get off that here's the packaging it's another package I got today um it's so cute I love how they just put everything like in the box and just in this like big old lunch bag so let me see if I can open this with one hand give me a moment <laughs> Okay, so that wasn't working. So I'm gonna do it down here. Back up, Georgia. So I got the same jacket, but I got it in a different color. I got the army green because it was like one of the only colors that were actually available. So it looks like this. Somebody is extremely interested, Georgia. And all the hardware on the jacket is black. So like the zipper, the little, whatever these things are called. Um, the Velcro, everything's black. So. I can already tell that this is gonna be a better fit for me. Um, I don't know why I ordered a small because I am like pretty petite, so I'm small frame. I was thinking about layering stuff under it, but it was still just like on me like a turtle shell. Yeah, this is a much better fit. So this is what it looks like on. I do like this color. I really did want a black jacket, but this will do for now actually need to wear this today because it is it's pretty cold and I know by the time I'm on my way back home the sun will have gone down oh yeah this is better this is much better and I still have space to like um layer different stuff under it if I need to which I'm gonna have to today because I'm gonna put a hoodie on because it's cold um but yeah I just wanted to open my new jacket and show you guys 
know what it looks like because I want to wear it because it's cold. And unfortunately, I'll show y'all this really quick. I have this one, this down jacket, this down puffer jacket from Uniqlo that I got a few years ago, but I washed it incorrectly. And so all of the feathers on the inside have clumped up. But I found an article that tells you how to reverse it. So I have to just go get some tennis balls and this like specific detergent. But we're gonna do it together. Um, I'm probably gonna work on it like this weekend. Go over there with that ball. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna like put on something warmer, put this jacket on, um, and head out. I'm gonna tell y'all that what I'm doing right now is super dangerous, is risky. Cause it's after five and um, traffic traffic this uh salon is 22 minutes away from me so you know i'm gonna get there before they close for sure but you know just sitting in atlanta traffic is just not fun it's not fun um but it's gonna be okay because i just really um want to try i love my lash tech i always love her nails and she goes to a full-blown salon so somebody is always at work i ain't gotta worry about making an appointment, paying a deposit, all that. Like, I think I'm just, I gotta let that go for a, a minute when it comes to nails. Um, I've just been through too many nail techs, <laughs> like independent ones, just trying to be like, you know, super supportive of Use the middle lane everything. To but to on to I just like, I don't, I don't know y'all. Like when I was younger, even now, like my mama has always had the same nail tech. Yes and they're friends right so um when i first started getting my nails done that's who i was going to and i was i'm just used to getting my nails done every other week like that's just the schedule well, my mama put me on that schedule y'all like when i was in high school <laughs> i was like <laughs> first of all keep your comments to yourself if you feel some type of way about this but when i was in high school y'all like my mama was coming to pick me up early so that I could go to our nail appointment. Like she would get her nails done then I would get mine done by the same nail tech. So I'm just used to like being with the same person and like consistency. And even before I moved here, like I had a nail tech in Jacksonville that I was going to all the time. Like even when I moved here, like when I first moved here, I was going back home so I could keep going to her. Cause I couldn't find nobody here. But y'all, it just be a lot. Um, I hope everything is okay with the nail tech because she told me at first it was like a family issue and then you know she moved to another state and everything so best of wishes to her she is phenomenal so um, I'm sure she will find like she won't have a problem like developing like a new clientele at all um, I'm just disappointed because I really liked her work I was really excited about you know going to her and everything so it's all good um Hopefully this place is a 10 out of 10 and worth this trip. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home. Um, it's it's 7.53, so not too, too late, but um, I literally just changed back into the pose that I've been in all day because I didn't do anything but take like a really good shower, <laughs> washed my hair, and work. Like I just sat on the phone. Um, but yeah, I got my nails done. So I just got like French, oh, that's lotion. Let me rub that in. <laughs> I just got like um, black French and they're really short. So I'll be liking my nails to be short just for function. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's focusing on Georgia though. Hey girl. <laughs> um, What in the world? Okay, well, these are my nails. I don't know why I won't focus, but um, I'm just heating up my dinner. I'm just literally eating the same thing I had the other day, which is just salmon, rice, vegetables, um, zucchini, and squash. So 
Maybe it's the lighting in the kitchen or something that's keeping it from like focusing. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, for the rest of the night, I don't have anything to do other than edit this video. It was supposed to go up today because I'm trying to stick to my new schedule of like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but unfortunately, I got really caught up in work, so I didn't finish editing the video, so. I didn't want to do like a speed rush process and then it just be looking crazy. So I was just like, you know what, I just upload tomorrow. So I'm going to sit and eat my dinner and edit my video for the rest of the night. And then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow may be a little more eventful because now my nails are done. Now I feel like I can do stuff again. And they still won't really, it's kind of focusing now. You can kind of see it. I've never had like black French. I've rarely ever had, I think I've had black polish maybe once. So this is just me stepping outside of the box. And y'all know normally when I step outside of the box, I immediately regret it. I don't regret this yet, but I already know that it's not going to be for a long time. Well, it may be. I may keep this for the rest of the month. Who knows? We almost halfway through anyway, so. But yes, y'all, Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey, y'all, happy Thursday. So I'm getting ready to... um get ready to film <laughs> and then after I film I'm gonna run a couple errands but first I'm gonna refresh my hair um I am currently wearing my hair like natural or curly for the rest of the month and I don't like it like all down so I've been doing like buns and like half up half down styles um sleeping up on it every night and then like I refresh it in the morning so I wanted to show you guys kind of how I like let me turn this little space heater off because I think it's making a lot of noise. Um, how I refresh my hair. So um, I just get like my spray bottle and just kind of spray it a little bit just to like activate the curls. But I don't want to drench it because I don't want my hair to be like wet. I just want it like damp enough to um, apply product and the product actually like makes it. So. This is the leave-in conditioner I'm using. This is by Curlsmith. It's a multitasking conditioner, so you can leave it in, rinse it out, or you can do like a deep conditioner with it. But this is what it looks like. And this is from their, um, one of their strength recipe lines for like damaged hair. So it's like a, re a reparative product or what you call those lines that are like treatment. Yeah, like a treatment product, so. Um, just take a little bit like that and I just like coat my hair with it nothing too too dramatic but it just kind of like gives my hair some moisture and um, a little bit of shine and I'm able to just kind of like fluff it back out if you can kind of see like some of the ignore this <laughs> Some of the like definition and everything is just like coming back because you know like i said i slept with a bonnet on but it's still like flattened in the bag so i'm just trying to like fluff it back out what georgia y'all georgia don't bother me throughout the day until i start filming or i get on the phone girl what you don't even want anything and then i go over it with this mousse which is also from the same line by Curlsmith, so it's the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam, and I love styling my hair with foam. It's like something I picked up from um, a hairstylist a few years ago, and I just I just find that it just really, really helps with like definition. Move, Georgia. Even for wash and goes, because I know that foams are really good for like roller sets, perm rod sets. Um, but they also work really well when you're trying to like reactivate the curls in like an old wash and go. And it works for me because I do have like heat damage and stuff. So the foam is good and it's not hard, like a gel or something like that. And I honestly should have probably done the back first, but it's all good. So now I'm gonna just redo the ponytail at the top. And I'm going to do the same exact thing I did and put it right back in the ponytail. This is where most of my heat damage is. That's exactly why I don't wear my hair all down because the front looks insane. So um, 
I'm not gonna use as much leave-in in the front as I did in the back because there's just less hair up here. And I'm using like, I'm just coating it, prayer hands method, so I'm not like distribu distributing the product. I already did that yesterday, so I'm good. This is just a, a refresh. Get all of that. This little piece right here is so short now because y'all know I got that blunt bob, so it doesn't really stay inside the um inside the hair tie, but I still pull it up because then I just want it to like fall out naturally. Because if I try to force it, it's gonna look forced. <laughs> so here's that, and then I'm gonna use just like a little bit of mousse, not even a whole lot, to just um go. And to be honest with you. I mostly use mousse in the front, not even for like definition purposes, because it's nothing you can do to define um, heat damaged hair without manipulation. So it's it's not it's not activating nothing, child. It's just it's just for shine. See how that little piece keeps falling back out? <laughs> okay, I gotta make sure this is in the middle. And I don't like it high; I like it low, almost as if my hair is just like. Pull it back in the front, so. Just like this. Like this. That way, it doesn't look like, you can't really tell that I have like, all these little weak curls in the front. So now I'm gonna do my edges. Um, Let me see, got a lot of little short pieces. So my edges, I just kinda like, take the comb end of my, um, see like that piece is short too, and it won't stay. It won't stay in the, um, <laughs> in the hair tie. But yeah, I just take like the comb piece of my edge brush and just kind of like comb all the little hairs down that are more than likely gonna be like baby hair or whatever. And I actually style my edges with foam. So I'm using the same foam. Someone recently, um, not even just recently, but y'all have been requesting I do like a, a sleek bun tutorial, like sleek bun and baby hair tutorial. So I'm gonna work on that for sure. I need a closer mirror for this part. <laughs> I'm gonna put this right here. My mirror is far away. Um, this still ain't this still ain't working. And I don't want to use the viewfinder. I'm gonna just have to look in the mirror right here and talk to y'all. I'm gonna work on it. Um, like first, somebody re re when it was first requested. Why can't I talk? When it was first requested, it was like after I had already gotten my hair cut. So I honestly didn't think my hair was like long enough to still go in a bun, but it is, and I'm shocked because I can do like that my mid bun like I do, and I can also do a top knot. Now they're tiny little buns. They're not as big as they used to be, but. I still can like pull my hair back into like a bun. But yeah, I just style my hair, um, my edges with foam. If I'm doing a bun though, which y'all will see, I do use like an edge control on top of it. But because this is like a soft style and I'm like kind of manipulating it every day, I don't plan on like using an edge gel. Because honestly y'all, when I, when I do my hair in a bun like that, I tend to like wrap it at night and just like wear the same bun or whatever. For this one little piece right here, this piece right here, I'm gonna take some foam and just, oh, just brush her back. But yeah, y'all, I am filming an unboxing today. Um, honestly, my goal is to film it today and have it up tomorrow or Saturday by the latest. Today is Thursday. Um, this is the week that I wanted to start my new upload schedule, but I was a little thrown off, so I'm uploading. I uploaded Monday, and then today, there's a new vlog going up, so it's Thursday. And then it'll either be tomorrow or Saturday when the unboxing goes up. But we gonna, we gonna get it on track. Long as I'm uploading three times a week as promised, I definitely just want to stick to that for sure because that's what I promised y'all. Um, the cadence and the daily schedule, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it together with that, but it's definitely gonna be three times a week. And what helped me up was honestly like 
something was going on with iMovie where like my video was processing like super slow. It had been processing for like over a day, y'all. Like I edited the video well in advance, but it was just processing. I don't know if y'all can hear my stomach growling, but sis is hungry. I'm gonna eat. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna eat after I film because I want to uh, leave the house. But yeah, so this is how my hair looks. Like refreshed. Um, just a quick little like half up, half down. And yeah, really soft on the edges and baby hair. Like nothing too harsh or anything. But now I'm about to do my makeup. And let me tell y'all, I'm so mad because I was supposed to show y'all what I bought from Sephora in my last vlog. I did like a um, online in-store pickup situation. And I bought, I replaced my Fenty body buttercream, a full size of it, so I'm happy about that. But I had also went ahead and bought the pump to this um, NARS foundation. And I absolutely cannot find it. And I feel like I threw it away by mistake. So... I'm salty about that. I am very salty. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna buy another one though. I'm gonna buy another one because, yeah. But yeah, y'all. So I'm gonna get ready, do my makeup. I'm gonna be quick. So we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna do like a, you know. Y'all gonna see me do my makeup plenty of times before. So I don't have to go step by step and all of that. I'm gonna just do it real quick and then, um, Film my video and then we're gonna head out, okay? <laughs> unboxing and everything filmed it out of the way now I'm going to put on the rest of my clothes so I can head out I only have on the turtleneck that I'm wearing today I have on sweatpants and <laughs> slippers um I did unbox those Christian Louboutin so me heels that I got for Christmas from Miss Tracy's y'all already know the story with that um and I'm about to put on some jeans some boots and a coat uh, I was going to wear these like super, super cute boots that I love, 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 but they are put away and I don't feel like getting them because I'm lazy. Um, so I'm just trying to pull out some jeans from my jean drawer. I think this is the pair that I'm going to wear. And because I keep my jeans folded and rolled like this, these are certainly going to be wrinkled. So we are going to put these in the, um, excuse me y'all, I have hiccups. We're gonna put them in the dryer. Excuse me. On the de-wrinkle setting for, it's 10 minutes long, but I'm gonna give it like maybe three, maybe four minutes. So I'm gonna do that now, de-wrinkle. And then while that's going, I'm gonna get these other boots down because the, uh, the boots I'm gonna wear today, they're put up too, but they're just not as like tucked away as, um, let me turn this rain light off. They're not as tucked away as the other boots. The ones that I really wanna wear, but child, I don't have the time. I do not have the time. My closet is just so little and eh. Um, super grateful for it. Let me not sound like I'm complaining, but um, I'm just ready for like something bigger. Soon come, soon come. Okay, y'all, I know it's a little dark, but for some reason, when I turn the light on, 
I don't I don't know I just feel like it looks better with the light off but these are the boots it's the glare right here that's throwing me off <laughs> um these are the boots that I'm wearing today I got them from Simi Simi shoes so they're just these like really cute um chocolate brown boots they have like a gold tip I love that like Hill, y'all remember this was such a trendy hill last year. Um, and it's like croc embossed. Okay, maybe we do need the light. We're gonna get this lighting together one day. My goodness, when I have like an apartment with better lighting, but yes, so this they're like croc embossed, but they're like chocolate brown zipper on the side. Super, super, super cute. If they're still available, because I bought these last year, um. I'll link them in the description box or maybe something similar. And y'all, I'm looking in the mirror behind me because this turtleneck is open back. It's a whole bodysuit. And I'm so opposed to like bra straps, but because I'm wearing a coat, I ain't worried about it today. But anybody who knows me will tell you, I'm just, I really love seamless looks. I even like, I don't know what's been going on with my bras lately, but I'm not feeling it. Um, maybe I need larger bras or something um or maybe it's just this shirt but anyway y'all i don't like panty lines i don't like exposed bra straps like i don't know i just i just don't like it like i get it if you have to but there are just so many like <laughs> strapless bras and options but i do recognize that for like women who have like larger breasts and stuff that stuff do not be working i cannot wait until um there is like a properly advertised like backless bra for like women with like larger breasts because they always advertise it as if it can work for everybody and i recognize that it doesn't because it just don't <laughs> it's not even sometimes it's not even secure enough for me especially like in the heat when i like sweat if it's hot the things be like slide off the tape loses its adhesive like it's just it's just a mess y'all know my feelings because i really like this outfit i like it a lot more than i thought i would and i want to save it so bad like <laughs> Chelsea and I just decided that we're gonna link up tomorrow and I like want to wear this outfit let me show y'all because I might change into something else like seriously <laughs> okay y'all so as always ignore my background but this is the turtleneck I had on and I put on these jeans I got from Zara they're like wide leg and then I have on this like plaid coat it's like super super warm but I am just really feeling this look and <laughs> I want to save it like I want to wear it tomorrow for wherever we go so I'm thinking I might change clothes and y'all just gonna have to see this again tomorrow because this is like I just really 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 love this outfit it's very simple but it is still just like super cute so yeah I wish I could ask y'all today if I should save it so I did a lot of browsing and I only picked up two things I wanted to buy more but no um I am in need of some new exfoliant so I got one by soap and glory and I picked it up because um their products are buy one get one 40% off so I got a lotion and a body scrub I'm good on body wash but I am out of exfoliant um but yeah y'all I'm annoyed because I scheduled today's vlog to go out at four and it didn't it it didn't it didn't go live 
and I didn't notice until like 440 I was like in the store like browsing around I was like oh let me just go check to see like how the video was doing and I noticed that it was not doing anything so um it's all good it's up now you know whatever would have liked for it to go up at four but it's okay um because y'all are watching it so hey y'all hey chanel i see chanel has already left a comment so i got a reply to that but um yeah y'all i'm about to go to Publix to pick up some groceries luckily it's in the same plaza this is the new ulta by my house i should have um well let me do it real quick so you can see the sign it says like now open and then there's the big ulta sign but y'all this used to be office max and i actually have been in this office well in this location when it was like office max but it's super cute i um ended up chatting with the girl who works here so um we were just talking about like the products the new setup the new like infrastructure that ulta is going through i always end up talking to people who work at places and it's just like i don't know um really cool she was real cool we actually exchanged information because she's not from here either she's from houston um and she's been here she said for two years too like me so that was cool but yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and head over to Publix grab some stuff hopefully they got a lot of stuff in stock i feel like a lot of people are trying to prepare for the snow this weekend um and then on top of that y'all it's just literally like a shortage in every grocery store my grandma be like we finna have a famine and i was like i don't know grandma but but yeah let me go ahead and get into uh Publix before do i want to go to this Publix, y'all last time i went to this Publix, this girl ended up like talking to me and convincing me to like donate money to some cause and i don't have a problem with doing stuff like that but i don't like being solicited for stuff like sometimes i just want to go about my way and because i'm i'm such a nice person i always end up giving and i'll be like dang <laughs> i just don't feel like having that interaction today like i just want to get my stuff and go home so yeah i'm gonna ride by if, if there's a table set up I'm gonna keep going to the other Publix but if not I'll just go ahead and go in because I really 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 need to get some groceries and I want to get in there before the sun completely sets so yeah <laughs> watch them in Publix because um, I was trying to go through like the self checkout line but of course I had my own bags so they were like trying to make me select I have my own bag after each and every item and I got tired of doing that plus then it stopped and it wanted me to like get an assistant or an associate and nobody ever came so I just got out of line and went to a regular line but we're gonna do a really quick grocery haul I didn't get like a ton of stuff, but I just wanted to grab like um, enough stuff to just kind of like hold us over for the weekend. Did the garlic fall out of the bag? And I did decide like super last minute to make some chili since we're having like a snow weekend and it'll be pretty cold and I don't think we'll be able to like leave the house to get food and stuff like that. Just maybe on like Saturday, but you know. Um, so let me sit y'all down. Clearly, I also changed clothes. That turtleneck was like choking me. Am I about to get a delivery? I think so. It's me looking out the window because I did order some stuff from Amazon and I did just pulled up. So, see if he knock on my door. <laughs> okay, yes, it was for me. This is my uh. This is the case for my MacBook. For some reason, it feel like it might be too big, but we'll open it later and look at it. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and put these groceries up because I still haven't got anything to eat, so I'm hungry and I'm not cooking tonight. No, I don't want to cook tonight. 
So I got some cereal. Honey Bunches of Oats are my favorite cereal. Um, I think my grandma put me on, but they were buy one, get one free. So that was like the perfect, the perfect deal. Um, my new favorite thing are flaming uh, hot Cheeto puffs. And I fell in love with these because I got like the assorted bag of hot chips. Um, last time I went grocery shopping and there were five bags of those in there and I ate them all within like two days. So yeah. Um, I got these little like Trinity packs. So this one has like celery, green pepper and onion. And this one has like red pepper, green pepper and yellow pepper. So this is for the chili. And I bought these instead of buying the individual um, vegetables because for one, there weren't many in stock and then those were like two for six. So there's that. I got some lemons for my tea, my hot tea. And then I grabbed also like a little fruit bowl because um, I love the pineapples and strawberries in here. And then Georgia always eats like the kiwi. So there's that. And then this other bag. Got some new treats for Georgia. Um, I really prefer to get her treats from like PetSmart or Pet Supermarket because they always have sales, but I just haven't made my way over there. And right now, all she has is ice cream as a treat. And that's just like, that's no, that's more dessert. And I only give that to her like once a week after dinner. So, yeah. I got some more of my favorite um, granola bars. But I usually eat these with yogurt. And I didn't pick up any yogurt. It slipped my mind. So, I'm going to have to go back to the grocery store like tomorrow just to get a couple things. Because I also want to get some chicken wings. But um, then I know I can get my yogurt then too. And then these are all the like beans, tomato sauce, um, tomato paste and stuff for the chili that I'm gonna make this weekend. And I got also, oh, this is a can of tomato soup cause I like tomato soup. <laughs> I used to work at Panera and that's where I fell in love with like tomato soup and grilled cheese. And then I got some ground chicken because I don't eat beef <laughs> or pork lately so. I am going to make the chili with ground chicken. And last time I made chili, like last winter, I actually made like a vegan chili and it came out really good, but it just required like so many ingredients that I just never touched again. And I still have that stuff in my cabinets. Like I probably need to go through all the cabinets in here at some point and just like take stuff out because it's too much. Got some cheese and some bread because I'm basic and I like grilled cheeses with my uh, tomato soup and my chili. And then I love Simply. I love, love, love the Simply brand. Um, they did have tea at one point, but I haven't seen it in a while. I only ever seen it when I moved here and it was like once and I just, I haven't seen it. But I got some lemonade and strawberry lemonade. These were two for five. And then also I got the Simply almond milk let me know if you've tried this because i like it a lot um i go between this and another brand called khalifa farms for like almond milk the khalifa farms has like a coconut one that i really really like so yeah but um only other thing i got was some ginger ale i was trying to debate between the small cans and this but i realized that they're like these are obviously larger. There are four more cans in there and it was like two more dollars. So I was just like, that makes more sense. Um, and then I got like a case of water and also like a gallon of water. So that's what I picked up today from the grocery store. So I'm gonna put all this stuff up and then, um, oh, I have a bag in my car, the stuff that I got from Ulta. So I have to go back outside and get that. And I can show y'all what I picked. Well, y'all seen it, but I'm still gonna show you what I picked up from Ulta because I did get two products from Soap and Glory, so yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead, put this stuff up, and I'll talk to y'all in a second.
with y'all. So I want to see how Georgia reacts to these treats. Um, she hasn't had like a milk bone treat in so long. So I don't know. She used to something a little more gourmet at this point, but. <laughs> Georgia, stop. Sit. Go. I dropped it. Um, <laughs> so some of these are peanut, oh, they're all peanut butter flavored. They have peanut butter coating on them. And I can smell it. I can smell it in the bag. So she ran off. Her running off is usually a good sign, means that she wants to go eat it wherever she's most comfortable. Um, I'm not gonna give her another one because she has to eat dinner at seven and it's 6.56. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix her food. But before I do that, because she is gone by her business, um, I'm gonna open my new laptop case that I got from Amazon. So. She's back. I hear her. Um, <laughs> I hear the little, the little. Uh, what is it? The little thing on her? Cause I don't want to be like on her chain. Her tags, yes, her tags. She's asking for more. Mama, you gotta eat first, okay? Okay. It's not bad. It looks digitally printed. I probably could have got my own case. But it just looks like this. So really like abstract and nudish. Um, and the apple is see-through, okay. Cause y'all, I, uh, I have a rose gold like matte book and I had a clear case on it, but it like kept um, cracking and I was like dealing with it, but then I got tired of dealing with that, so. I was like, I'm gonna order another one. So let's try it on real quick. Georgia. She's still in there trying to get to, she's trying to get to that stuff. Um, okay, it does fit. I was a little afraid. I felt like it wasn't going to. So just snapping it on real quick. Pretty secure. It has a interesting smell. That's how it looks. I gotta take the plastic off the bottom. I'm gonna uh, take it back off and clean my computer and then put it on. Cause I know there's probably all kind of debris and like fingerprints all over my computer, but I just wanna do this with y'all and see <laughs> if it actually fits. I'm afraid because this is the same material as the other one, as the clear one I told y'all kept cracking. This piece up here is a different material. It's like really soft. I don't know what material that is, but the bottom is like a hard plastic again. So here's the front. It's really cute. Like it's, you know, it's me. Fits my vibe, but it definitely has an interest in smell. Like it smells like a men's cologne or something. Yeah, my computer feels a lot thicker now and a lot more secure. Cause y'all, I was just like walking around with her like bare and I would freak out if anything happened to this computer. Um, my last MacBook, I call it the community MacBook because my family just ended up using it. Um, I had stepped on it one time and the screen cracked and I got it fixed. And that was years ago. And it was like $70 to get it fixed. I know for a fact, it ain't $70 to get <laughs> to get that stuff fixed no more. So yeah, got a new case. I will link it. I had ordered some other stuff from Amazon, y'all. But it kept saying that it was delivered and I, I didn't get anything. So I ended up having to um, 
they went ahead and just canceled and refunded me for the items one of the items was actually completely out of stock so there was no hope for me when it came to that but um i'm gonna go ahead and feed georgia and then i gotta grab this stuff out of the car from ulta and i'll show that to y'all so yeah i'll be back again as you can see there has been an, a clear change of plans i am about to order some pizza from blaze and go pick it up i really 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 want to do curbside but they rarely ever actually like do it i always have to go inside and get my food so we'll see y'all know it's so funny so y'all know i live in decatur and the blaze that i go to is on north decatur road right there is however also a blaze pizza located in las vegas nevada that's on North Decatur Road in Las Vegas though. I have like by mistake, I ordered my pizza and sent it to the Las Vegas location. And then like I've gone to pick it up and they be like, <laughs> oh look, I'm gonna select curbside because I don't feel like getting out of the car. Let's do ASAP. Um, and then like they, they're they like, it happens all the time because it looks a little confusing. So now I only order on my computer so that I can be very, very certain. Because when I do it on my phone, it's it's easy for it to look a little confusing. But if I like put my pizza together on the computer, I don't have no problems. But see, that's why I need my iPad back. <laughs> I'ma still get one. It's just not um on it's not high on my priority list right now as far as just like necessities. Like I got other stuff to take care of but as soon as I'm like back to life back to reality I am definitely investing in an iPad and I'm gonna get the pencil because I'm tired of um I'm tired of complaining about it truly <laughs> and I know y'all tired of hearing about it so I just put my order in for my pizza um I do like the 11 inch build your own I don't want to add none of this stuff to my order. It's crazy because I really had the mind to, um, I got to go get it. I really wanted to cook. Like that was part of the reason I went to the grocery store, but I wanted chicken and I didn't get any, um, I didn't buy any. So I got to go back and get some tomorrow and I'm hungry now. I don't want to wait. So, I was just like right up there and then like, cause you know, it's like an assembly line. Like you just get in line and um, you order your food. Is it? But sometimes it'd be like packed and I want to come back home. I got some new uploads to watch. And um, also I have a video, a video I got to film tonight. <sighs> I feel like my lips looking they don't feel crusty, but I feel like they look crusty because I haven't applied anything to them since I did my makeup early, like way earlier today. <laughs> and I'm super oily, like I see it. But the video that I have to film tonight is like a, a skincare thing. So it requires me to take my makeup and all that. So I'm just gonna leave it on. Um, speaking of lotion, so I got this lotion right here from Stephanie. She's so sweet. So she gifted this to me because I, y'all know I was using the um, the Fenty uh, hand cream, and she was like, "I got something better. I'm gonna send you." She didn't tell me like the brand or anything. She just sent this to me, and it's like Le Labo, and it's the uh, hand pomade. I'm trying to see if there's like a scent or like a number. Y'all know I. She has introduced me to a new level of luxury with this because I've always heard people talking about like Le Labo. But I never tried it. Like their candles, their lotions, their body products, all that stuff. Like I've never tried it. Um, but she was right. This is better than the Fenty. And it smells rich. Like I smell like I got money. I'm going a, I'm to a, um, <laughs> text her and be like, what's this scent? Because I feel like I'm reading the packaging wrong. But I really, really like this. So I'm definitely. Mm, it just smells so good. Like, yeah. I like this. I am definitely going going to start 
investing in some Le Lavo products. When I start to like run out of like other stuff, let me see something. I feel like there's a store here in Atlanta, but I could be tripping. Yeah, in Bloomingdale's at Lenox. So there's something to look forward to. So it's 8.20, so let me go ahead and head out. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> If you're calling to get your curbside pickup order, please press 9 now to let us know you're here. Hi. They have this really good, like, blood orange lemonade that I wish I would have ordered, but I just bought, like... Thank you for calling, Blake. Hey, I'm just calling to let you guys know I'm here for my curbside pickup. All right, what was the name for your order? Monica. Monica, mm -hmm. might it be on any other name? I don't believe so. I can give you the order number if that helps. Uh, well, I'm only home over here in uh, Zach Chernick and Janae Barber. Well, yeah, then that's it. I typed in Monica, so but yeah, but it, I guess it's using. Yeah. Oh, we do say Monica in the description. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Are you in this white car right here? Yeah, right in front. All right. Okay, right bye. I can totally see him. I gotta explain to y'all why I be saying my uh, name, Monica. Hold on. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, what's up? Hey, okay, so, got my pizza and it's hot. Thank God, like it is hot. Um. So, before I pull off, this is why I be saying my name is Monica. Anytime, my middle name is La Monica. Okay, y'all? There is something new that y'all ain't know about me. Um, so, anytime I, like, say my name is Janae, it either sounds to them like I'm saying Shanae, or if I, like, type it in somewhere, they then say Janie. Like, nobody really pays attention to the accent over the E, but that's not really their fault. It's my mama being creative, so it's all good, but I just try to go by Monica whenever I'm ordering food because it just, um, it just helps me not have to be like, that's not my name, because I'm not like one of those, you finna be spelling my name wrong kind of people. Like, I'm not aggressive about it, but also I just feel like, especially for like black people, I'm very, very, big on pronouncing our names properly and spelling our names properly i don't care how creative they are like you're gonna say my name right so to avoid all that i just go by monica when i'm ordering from like <laughs> anywhere i gotta eat but yeah y'all i'm finna head back home let me turn this camera off <laughs> Hey y'all, so it's Friday night. Um, as you can see, I just went out with Chelsea. We went to a new spot here in Atlanta called Modish. Super, super, super cute. Great drinks, great food, amazing vibes. They have like hookah, happy hour, really pretty like cocktails and stuff like that. Really good like small plates and it's not like too expensive. So um, definitely recommend if you are in Atlanta, I'll put the information in the description box. Um, what are you doing? Y'all came home immediately. Georgia is like ready to play. So we've been tossing the ball like back and forth. Um, but yeah, y'all, 
I want to show y'all my outfit because I didn't show it to you earlier because um I got ready to go at the very last minute so I didn't start vlogging until I was already inside so let me put my jacket back on so we can go to the mirror so you can see what I wore today I feel like I've been wearing turtlenecks every day since the new year um but it's cold and usually I don't get oh, I'm sorry terrible angle usually I don't get to wear my turtlenecks so I'm just like taking like full blown advantage of this moment but I'm gonna go to the mirror show y'all my look I'm annoyed because this um I think this is called like a tube collar but it keeps brushing against my face so like my makeup is on it and I'm oily so pardon me but I'm gonna um I'm gonna clean it so it'll be okay okay so it's nighttime so it's a little dark but I turned the ring light on so hopefully you can see as always part of my background it's a mess but um, I'm just wearing this black turtleneck from H&M this waxed denim they're like wide leg pants I love these pants I got these from shop girl next door black on boutique these are from last year but I will still like link the um, boutique in the description box and then this is the jacket from Modern Opulence, the cropped um, puffer and cream. And I just wore these boots that I've had for a couple years now. They're from the ASOS. I think I've showed you guys these before. So they're like half black, half like snake print. But yes, super cute look. And I just wore, <laughs> y'all see Georgia? Georgia. And I just wore like a, a simple like black bag. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna start doing better with showing y'all my outfits and stuff once I get like a larger mirror, but for now we are gonna work with what we have. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow because it's the weekend and I have two things planned, just two. <laughs> um, since we're gonna be snowed in or whatever I have like to clean out my closet which I'm really excited about because I'm really looking forward to getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I don't wear or look at and then also I'm gonna go get my toenails polished in the morning like my goal is to be there when they open because I really don't want to polish change I'm not gonna get a pedicure yet because I want to do that next weekend but I'm gonna get my polish changed in the morning but yeah, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.